guys, welcome to Farm Corp. My name is Andy Lim Somi from Somi Prestige. I'm a detailer. It's a mobile service. I'm based in Johannesburg. Do click the like and follow button to see more. And hey, let's get going. Show you what I do and what I do and how I do. All right. So why did you start the detailing business? So essentially, I was a detailer way back in the days. I think around 2009, 2000, just before 2009, I started working for somebody. They had a dent shop, so they used to do um, vehicle work, going from body to exterior and interior. So that's where I learned a lot about paint and all, paints sure. and car care. So that's essentially why I started this business. What's the difference between a detailing business and a car wash, a regular car wash? So regular car wash, they don't go as deep into taking care of the car. It's just more about making it look clean, whereas we go into actually maintaining your car. Not only it being clean, but it being well maintained. So it goes from products to the material we use. All of that is a little, on a different spectrum, let me say that. Oh, you use specialized equipment? That's correct. So obviously with the equipment, you need certain equipment for certain jobs. You can't use one thing the whole way through. So you do need to break up your, your, your sections in regards to what you're doing and what you're using to do it. All right, run us through your equipment then. Let's see you. All right, let's equipment. get it going. So in this big bag here, we have my buffing machine, all right? Yes, I can use that. So this, oh, it's a jewel head buffing machine. It's actually multi-purpose. So you can work on it, work with it rather, inside or outside, depending on what you do. So I can change pads, these pads are changeable. You can change these to brushes when you want to do interior. Yeah. Let's say you're working on a truck, you can use these. Then over here, follow me. What does that buffering do? It just makes the car shine or So what? with buffering, there's different packages, which means there's different things that need to be done. Yeah. So when it comes to buffering, you start off, well, generally, we start off by cleaning your paint before we start trying to do a correction of it. So in a paint clean, what that does is gets rid of the oxidization. So that means all the elements, so water, the sun affecting your paints, that's what happens. And then as well as that, we also have a part where we can maintain the paint, which means we put a sealant over it. Some people like to call it a ceramic coating. Oh, right? okay, cool stuff. So after my buffing, I got my drill. This one I generally use on interior because it's light, compact, whereas this is more chunkier to do interiors with. So I'll use this generally on bigger cars. Yeah. All right. And then this one here as well, well it's just a normal drill bit. A brush bit for it for the interiors so you'll see how that works as we go along today what do you wash the car with oh yes <laughs> so over here we also have my high pressure hose this is obviously for exterior so also attach the soap the foam, well, not the soap foam cannon to this and yeah that's how we get grinding on the outside all right so this is part of it as well yeah uh, it's, it's all one unit right here as well, we have a power hoover here. This power hoover is multi-purpose, so it does wet and dry with vacuums. And use that for generally start work, meaning getting rid of dust, getting rid of any sand, any particles in the car. So that's where I'll start generally. And then we move on to the drills for the puppets and floorings and seats. Oh, okay. Now show us a demonstration. Yeah, we're going to run through that right now. And then hope you guys um, take something from what I'm about to show you. You really don't give a damn about the environment, hey? Why would you say that? Because you're wasting water. Now, when that comes to that, that's why high pressure is good. Because high pressure, it pressurizes the water, so you're using less water. So even, for instance, I'll show you later, filling a bucket with this will take you for, it, it will take you ages. Just purely because it doesn't use as much water as a normal hose pipe. Oh, so this one at least helps with yeah, preserving it regulates, it regulates water. The of water. No, that's great then. Yeah. Right. Sure. So what is the reason for keeping a car clean? Because I personally do not keep my cars clean. Well, I do not wash them. There's, there's a magnitude of reasons, mm -hmm. right? The, 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 the key points for any person who's going to maintain a car is its resale value. Mm -hmm. Resale value, before, before anybody looks at the engine of your car and whatever, they'll always look on the outside to how see it looks. how does this car look, Sure. right? So, and that being said, that's why even if you buy a new car, yeah. one of the first things I'd do is get it detailed. Sure. And that's just to get, possibly get a actual sealant on it, or as they call it, a coat on it. 
is it okay to wash the car with hot water or cold water yes that's what i wanted to know because some people do prefer using warm water thinking that it will remove the dirt so is it okay or it should always be cold water and how does that affect the paint of the car warm water I, 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 warm water wouldn't be a problem just not hot for sure warm water would make sense as well because it'll make in all the dirt more soluble and it'll be easier to clean yes but because we're detailers we have chemicals for all those issues sure so for instance if you look at the work i did on the volvo if i sprayed it down to get rid of any excess dust and grime yeah and then i came through and i went went over it with my hand with that chemical you saw me using yes so that chemical removes tar it removes bugs all those bugs that you can't remove when just sure. normally washing it that's what it removes and then we'll start with the washing process all right does one have to always spray like rinse the car first before washing it yes or so what you, you want to do is you always want to rinse the car yeah all right and that's to get rid of any excess dust and dirt that's what rinsing the car is for yeah so any excess dust that because now you've got a car it's dirty it's been sitting for let's say three weeks it hasn't been washed there's dust on it you come you just start washing it what's going to happen is all those dust particles are going to go into this paint and that's where your soil marks come from which is why you need a microfiber too and i guess do those also scratch the car those, yeah those the the the, the, the mud and the yeah. dust that's there so if you if you ever take it's for instance like take your finger and run it through sand mm. and then rub your face mm. you'll feel that scratchiness on sure. your face it's exactly the same or you pick up the pebbles and scratch that's yourself. it What's the worst thing that you've come across inside the interior of the vehicle when you were detailing somebody's car? Besides the cars that I brought to you today. What do you mean? Like you finding used condoms, ah. uh, you know, vomit, blood. It was a crime scene that you cleaned up. Um, it wasn't. It's. it's I'm, I'm so far. I'm glad it's. <laughs> it's never been anything that crazy. But the worst I think was. There was one car that was being used as an Uber, but yeah. I feel like it was also Ubering materials because that car, when we cleaned the seats, all the dirt they came up turned into mud. So the actual seats were, were muddy. So that took quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's the worst. So no, nothing disgusting? No, nothing, yet. nothing, nothing like that yet. You all think Oh, goodness. so your clients are very, uh, well, what should we say? very clean yes and i appreciate <laughs> them for that actually yeah washing a car i've seen you say that we should wash the car in in the shade and not in the sun what is the problem like uh, i've seen we've seen many car washes yes some people try to put in car pods so why can't one wash the car in the sun it's not that you can't wash the car in the sun it's that you can't detail a car in the sun and why the reason it? for that being all the compounds you're using will dry quickly mm -hmm. so they're they're all semi-liquid based yeah so as soon as you apply it if you go through let's say because if you work in a section mm -hmm. if you section out the vehicle and you want to start in one section if, when you start that part of that section and the sun hits it and it's like direct it's going to dry up by the time you come back so now you'll have dry polish that's yeah. just sitting on there uh -huh. So it's like you have to wash it again. You'll basically have to keep going over that spot the whole time. Black plastic parts outside on the exterior. Uh, I've seen many car washes put some products that are like Vaseline, you know, make it shine. Is it oil or what? So today it looks like it's glistening, it's glossy, it's shiny. And then two weeks later, it's dried out. Now it's looking white. It's no more black and it's no more original. I mean, could you give us clarity? Should we use those products or what is that, by the way? 
So there's, there's, I mean, the, the detailing game is a big industry. It's been around for years. Certain chemicals and um, polishes have come out. So personally, we don't use silicone. Yeah. That's, that's the one thing that we don't use, silicone. So is that silicone that they put on the black parts of the... Most car, car washes will use silicone for everything. A real detailer will never use silicone. Okay. So what I use, I've got this chemical, it's called Back to Black. It's water-based. And what that does is that it, 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 it joins with the... And it's used for vinyl. So vinyl is those black parts I'm talking about. Oh. All the plastic parts are generally vinyl. That's what they refer to sure. as. So I use a specific chemical for that. Yeah. That only doesn't dry out. Because I said it looked new. It gives it that... It's like it came out of the showroom again. Yeah. I like it looks so like it's 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 not it's it. not like it's it's shining it it, like it's shiny it with, just looks and, which is what silicone does silicone yeah. looks good when you use it in the moment yeah. but silicone on tires first the problem with that is that it dries out your tires and silicone attracts dust With vinyl, that's exactly what it does. With the vinyl finisher or the vinyl touch-ups that I do, it just ensures that your car, your car's vinyls goes back to black and it's not like shiny per se. It's just clean and it's giving it that black back. I saw you were like spraying your chemicals onto the vehicle, um, the ones, the cleaning detergents. So you're not scared that this, the electronics itself will actually get wet and maybe malfunction. So now that also goes to knowing what you're doing. A lot of the cars these days actually built strong. So for instance, like I was doing the interior of the I-20, you, you, don't, you don't want to soak it. You don't soak the car. Yes. It's, it, even when I was doing the seats, there's no need to soak the seats. Sure. So it's, it's just a matter of the actual chemicals you have and the process you use when cleaning. Yeah. We've seen a lot of people that do wash their engines. Is it advisable to wash your engine? So engine cleans, we're, we're, we're a bit more specific with engine cleans because a lot of the cars these days are electronic yeah, or have a lot of electronics behind them. Sure. And a lot of those electronics run through the engine. Yes. So with engine cleans, you, you need to know the type of vehicle you're working on and how to work on that vehicle. Sure. It's not just any car that you can, some cars you can put a hose to. Yeah, but some cars you, you you can't because the cars are not meant to be driven underwater. You really. understand, sure. So it's it's also a delicate one. That's why we don't really delve into the, on our flyers. You won't see engine cleans because we don't do them on all cars. Yeah. Or if we do do them, we're gonna charge differently because of the work that needs to be or that needs to go behind it. Meaning, for instance, it's delicate, like you say. You understand. Yeah. So some cars you you can't put the the hose too you have to literally go in with a brush and just a spray bottle and item the, per item that's yeah. it all right the mats is it okay to just take your mats and put them in the washing machine <laughs> <laughs> if you're brave i'd say go ahead <laughs> sure <laughs> but no and that's only just to maintain the structure of the actual mat yes. and the fabric of the mat so not all the mats are the same. So what will happen is you put in a, in, a, in a washing machine, it's going to be thrown around, it's going to tumble a bit, it's going to change the mat's form and shape. Sure. So I'd say don't do it. All right. Uh, can we use a wet cloth to also wipe down our leather? I know you didn't do the Volvo inside for this, but is, can we use a wet cloth to wipe down leather? Is it okay? Not wet. I'd say damp. Yes, oh, and that's well, just purely, yeah, and that's cross, purely yeah. just to 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 get to get it wiped. So if there's dust and on it, yeah, then I'd say that's fine.
you know and again tires and rims uh you were talking about using not using silicon to do the tires so let's start with washing the tires uh, what is a good idea of washing tires just to spray it and move on a scrubbing brush a scrubbing brush okay. or what do we do when washing tires well if you're someone who's at home and who's trying to clean their car i'd say have a have a brush for the actual tire mm -hmm. and then have a nice cloth for the actual rims sure right and if you have rims that are hard to get into because when we clean rims obviously you also want to clean the base of the rim the inner base of the rim or oh, inside inside yeah, so yeah, sure. for that we have brushes for that so get yourself a nice brush small compact brush even if you actually get um bottle cleaners for babies yeah i see, see those how brushes. They, those yeah, brushes yeah, yeah. you can it's get like those as baby. well and make it easier and quicker to clean rims and then to make them shine uh, or to look appealing there's no products that one would need to put on the rim itself well we, you you can get a metal finisher which is mm -hmm. basically like a a polish for metal right yeah. but i i generally use uh the fallout remover mm -hmm. and the fallout remover that cleans any lead iron any metals from the room the one that was turning purple dust. sorry yeah. to cut you off yeah, yeah. Oh. so that will also clean any brake dust that you have how do you uh, maintain the leather as well as a cloth interior i don't know if there's a hybrid uh, what other materials are there for seats but yes between leather and the cloth seats how do you maintain the car seats so for the leather I'd, I'd say get yourself a nice leather polish mm -hmm. just so you can run over maybe once a month sure so leather dries out yeah that, that's that's the problem with leather mm -hmm. so because you, whenever you park your car let's say it's in the sun leather gets beat on and then it'll stop cracking okay so what you want to do is you want to moisturize it leather is basically is, is skin so yeah when you moisturize it, it it'll maintain that elasticity to it mm -hmm. so that you won't get cracks in it because now it's drying out and people are sitting on it it's bending in all of these ways it's cracking and the skin it starts is cracking. cracking you understand like some people's feet sure <laughs> i see i see whereas so. with with cloth cloth also one thing about cloth is if ever you get it wet, you want to clean that wetness same mm -hmm. time. So if your cloth gets wet, try to get that cleaned as soon as possible or else it'll seep straight through and then it'll leave stains. So your seats will be stained. All right. Liquid will stain your seats. That's one thing I'll know. Cloth seats, liquids mm -hmm. are a problem. But when it comes to your hands with the chemicals, is there any adverse effect of using them for your long term of your skin i don't know does your skin peel off no so all the chemicals i have none of them are i've only got one adhesive and adhesive is generally those 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 heavy chemicals yes that to breathe in is hectic but on your skin it's not so much yeah because i had a uh, i think my wife's aunt had to quit retire from a cleaning company due to chemicals so you're saying that one that has what when you inhale it mm. it's it's like a pepper spray yeah type thing so yeah like well, what do you do to prevent your health from being affected so generally i'd, I'd have gloves and you get a mask yes um especially for that interior cleaner we didn't see you use a mask <clears throat> yeah I've, 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 I've learned to work around not having a mask so with certain chemicals um like the one i was using earlier i've learned to hold my breath when i spray it at certain points reason for that being because it comes out as a mist yeah so because it comes out as a mist it, it'll sit in the air mm. so like it hitting your skin is fine but if you breathe if you inhale it you're you're gonna you're going to hurt yourself yeah yeah all right so with the shampoo of washing the body of a vehicle we've seen people use dishwashers doesn't matter uh like you know sunlight uh, if we could say it, sunlight is the one that's normally used all the time is that okay or there should be a specific product to washing a car yes that's another thing is that sunlight isn't good for the car 
it's, it's not sunlight is for dishes sure <laughs> leave sunlight in the kitchen sure so that green soap leave that in the kitchen rather yeah. go out find yourself a proper soap mm -hmm. or even a foam that you can use to wash your car with so it should be for vehicles only yeah it should be tailored. specifically yes yeah. have vehicles. get tailored soaps all right it's all good i just wanted to ask you where, where we were speaking about uh, preserving water is it okay to use rainwater to wash a car no why not because, because where you where you get where you get in the rainwater from oh like irrigation you know when you have people have borehole water and we have uh, jojo tanks and then you save all that water and wash your car with that rainwater is that okay uh, if if your pressure pump has a filter because my pressure pump is a filter yeah. so all the water that runs through the pump gets filtered before it goes through the pipes and hits the car so that means uh, one would be safe then? Yes, but if you're washing it, because I mean, when I started, I started with a bucket. I didn't have a pressure pump. So yeah. at that point, I wouldn't have been able to use rainwater. All right. Do people still use shemis and is it necessary to use such uh, cloths? I don't know. Or is there a specific cloth that one should use when washing a car and drying the car? Does it matter? So I've, I've, I've used, I've all, always only used microfiber cloths, but I've realized that even in the brands of the microfibers, there's microfibers that are just useless. Fake. That are, yeah, oh, it's basically, yeah. They'll, they'll scratch your car. Yes. So I've gotten to a point where I've found the perfect microfiber that works for me and it cleans the car proper and it also dries the car proper. So chamois, all of that, yes, but there's nothing better than microfiber. Chamois used to be like the like thing. Like, yeah, yeah, like and if you didn't have a chamois, you weren't someone who knows how to wash a car, but now it's microfiber. Oh, okay. Tips can you give with regards to washing the body only of a vehicle? Okay, so when it comes to washing the body, um, first things first, linear, never circular. So when you're washing the car, don't move your hand in circles, always up and down or left and right. Mm -hmm. And that reduces swirl marks. So swirl marks, you'll tend to see swirl marks. And that's another reason you use microfibers because microfibers don't give you swirl marks mm -hmm. because they're, they're, there's just something about microfibers that makes them so good that gives you a clean finish. Sure. So when you wipe a car in circles, that's exactly how it's gonna dry. It's gonna dry in a circular shape. And that's why you'll find your cars have those marks that actually look like circles. Mm -hmm. So moving on to washing windows. You know, back in the day, all we'd see at KRC is people washing windows and then using paper to wipe the windows. Is that a still a thing or, I mean, <laughs> do we just use microfiber for the windows as well? And that's why microfiber is is, is 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 so great because microfiber is it's multi-purpose the only place where i don't think i'd ever use my uh, microfiber is on tires reason for that being because it grips yeah so cleaning a tire microfiber will take you forever sure but anything that's that's a silky smooth surface microfiber is good for it all right so there are no other tips for washing windows or you can also have is it a squeaky a squeaky i don't know what squeegee it. squeegee yes <laughs> that's it so, so to actually for the for me i think for windows it's the it's the it's the drying process that's that that tends to be problematic the, the app because when you wash the actual window it'll look clean and then you wipe wipe it and then you'll still see watermarks yeah so microfiber is great because it picks up all those watermarks and it'll give you a glass like a, a, a clean glass finish yeah
so your detailing service does it actually fix scratches or it's just i don't know i, I would like i just want to make sure that people are not too ambitious about thinking that you are maybe a panel beater now <laughs> but because they see this uh your equipment that is your buffering uh, what do you call it that buffering equipment yeah so people might think this is actually removing scratches so you don't remove scratches or what so with scratches it's, it's hairline scratches so yeah. anything anything or any scratch where your paint's gone it's gone so there's nothing there like chipped off it, it's gone that's yeah. why even with chip marks mm. your, your paint is gone there's nothing that can happen there that's why you have people who do paint touch-ups and that's why you have people who spray work oh okay all right then describe the stages of the body like how you your your detailing i saw you said that you do interchanging on the buffering machine what are the stages of you doing your detailing Right. on the body on the paint so for so many prestige we have a few packages and those packages relate to the work that you need done so for instance if you're getting a new car there wouldn't be a point of getting let's say for instance a three-stage detail yeah. because the car is pretty new so all you really need to do is make sure that the paint is just covered so you put a sealant on it mm -hmm. whereas if it's an older car you have to get rid of the deoxidation you have to get rid of the actual dirt on the paint and then you can add the sealant. So depending on what work needs to be done, that determines which pads I use, yeah. which compounds I use. And compounds are basically the chemicals, let me say that, yeah. that are used to detail the paint. What should one do when their headlights are no more clear? So with headlights, it, it depends on the car because now, um, Back then, remember headlights were glass. Yes. And now that's it's a, it's like a polymer type of oh, plastic. Plastic, yeah. So, with with those type of headlights, if the person's gonna pull, if the first thing that person's gonna do is pull out sandpaper, yeah, run away, run away. If that's the first thing they run to yeah. is sandpaper, don't do it. Oh, right? we've seen people on YouTube doing that thing of sandpaper, fine one with water and whatnot. So you're saying, yeah, it's that's terrible. that. No, it's not terrible, but that should be your 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 last resort into cleaning your lights. Mm. So when we clean headlights, we have a compound that we use and we have a pad for it too. Mm. So it's an acrylic compound, mm. and that acrylic compound works perfectly with with headlights. And what okay. that does is that it, it cleans the actual top surface of the light. So anything that's sitting on there, any burning that's happening from the sun, and anything that's happening from the elements, that will clear that. Sure. So if it gets to a point where you've done that and your headlights are still bad, that's when you now look into your, your, your fine sandpaper and then do yeah. that and then go over with the acrylic so that it protects it. And then also, we also have a UV protector, which mm -hmm. means that it'll it'll increase the longevity of your lights mm. from getting hit by the sun and dulling out. So oh. anything anything that you start seeing on your happening on your car, from your headlights going down to your paint going down, that's generally because of the elements. So it's water, it's light, and it's dirt, dirt and dust. Oh, okay. Those are the three main things that will hurt your car outside of it. Scratch it. Scratch it.
Aren't you scared of difficult clients as your business is mobile and you go to their home turf? Your slogan is, it's in the finish. Aren't you scared that they'll finish you? I say I finish up now. Oh man. <laughs> so prior to actually Soul & Prestige coming about, sure. I've been in customer service. So I feel like it's, it's just customer service is second nature to me right now. So yeah. you're, you're always going to come across difficult clients in one, in, in one or other shape or form. So yeah. that comes down to you as a person and how you handle people. And also my work speaks for me. So I've never actually had a client who's, who's been difficult on, oh, on the great. work. Do you intend in making your own products though? Maybe you would be one to actually create their own products. So if you snap back to when I was mixing the, the foam soap yes. with the color, uh -huh. um, I'm still, still trying to perfect that so that we can release um, colored foam soaps for other details. Sure. So definitely we are looking to bring out our own products, mm -hmm. especially from a cleaning perspective. Machinery, machinery side. Um, it's a bit too technical. It's a, yeah, it's a bit, and also it's a bit too much work because there's so many different parts to just one machine. Can you describe a memorable or challenging detailing project you've done? <laughs> actually, I would say it was the the first client that I had, which was Varam Cop, actually, because when I initially started. <laughs> Um, it was it was actually the same Hyundai, but it was faded. It had a lot of work to do to, on it, and yeah. the outcome wasn't what I wanted. But the fact that someone saw what I was doing and felt that they can trust me with with their vehicle, I think for for me it's gonna be my first one. It's always yeah. gonna be my first. Sure. That was iconic. Uh, 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 hey, hey, like and subscribe. Did you hear that? <laughs> I was the first. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> I spent the better part of two days with you and I just wanted to know what is actually the most satisfying part about this job because all I could see was a man working hard, <laughs> so hard, sweating and it's like a workout so like what is the most satisfying part of doing this detailing service? Your client's reaction to your work, I mm. mean that's, that's why we do this right? It's, yeah. As much as people want to say you do it for money, you, you, you'll never just decide that you're gonna open a detailing business for money because it's not instantaneous money firstly, yeah. because people need to know you first. Sure. And then after they know you, they need to know what you're about. And then when they know what you're about, they need to like want to be part of that. They want to have their cars worked on by you yeah. because there's, I don't know how many car washes in South Africa every corner <laughs> you know what i mean the, so the culture so is different. it's 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 always about the client for us which is why we our tagline is in the finish the the finish is, is is what gets us and what keeps us going yeah moving on what are your future goals and aspirations for your detailing business what's not yeah man i feel like i i i'd, I'd, I'd love it for for it to be national yeah you know and then get to a point where we're so brilliant that we can go international you know mm. and and all of that happening even now we, we started off very small as i said in the beginning of our interview was that when i started this i didn't i didn't have most machines there's only one machine i had yeah. which was the buffering machine you know? mm. and that was the one i needed for my paint detailing because yeah. at that point that was the most important part of what i'm doing yes. and then as it grew as things came up started adding things to what we offer mm. so the plan for the next let me say five years is just to get better at what we do before we get bigger at what we do uh where can people get a hold of you um if you check the tag below you'll see our tag and so many prestige we're on instagram we're on tiktok or any social platform we're there you want to give out your number for your business? Oh yeah, and we also have a WhatsApp line. You can hit us up on WhatsApp or call us on 066-450-3964. Our email address is insomniprestige at gmail.com. Uh, it's in the finish. It's in the finish. And now we are finished. Thank you, Insomni Prestige. Thank you, Varam Kop. Thank you.
Rona barata ngutsa maya ndi khawa si sa khawa. Tsa mang ni lo tlhapa, tsa mang ni lo tlhapa. Nigga literally blew the camera away. Nigga you literally blew the camera away. Ah uh, this guy. I hardly knew the guy behind the camera. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> 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 <laughs>